today's video. On the video today, we're gonna focus on a cut straight from cosmetology school. This is part of a collection of haircuts that I've been putting together on FSE On Demand that is all the cosmetology school haircuts. 90 degree, 180 degree, and also the 45 degree haircut. So you guys can reference back to those. And also, I want to go a little more in depth with them so you guys understand the reasoning behind learning these cuts because they're not fashion haircuts. They're not cuts that you're gonna do on your clients, but they are techniques that you can use on every single one of your clients in the salon. So I don't wanna take any more time. Let's get started, here we go. Welcome to the video guys. Today we're gonna to focus on a basic haircut. This is straight out of cosmetology school. This cut is the 90 degree haircut. Pretty much everyone dreaded this haircut in beauty school. So sectioning is pretty simple, straight down the center, all the way down center back, and then you split at the division point from the high point of the head down to behind the ear and you create four quadrants. Then basically off of those four quadrants, you're gonna cut with the round of the head. Now, it sounds very simple, but this haircut, you're constantly moving and you have to focus on every dimension of the haircut, right? So you gotta focus horizontally and vertically. So that's what I wanna break down in the next six minutes as I go over this haircut. So look at the sectioning. Um, all of it is pretty much pivoting, like I said, off of that center point. So the partings are actually pretty simple. The key thing is to keep everything nice and clean and to make sure that you don't take too thick of sections. So let's say I combine two of these partings uh, to try to save a little time. What happens when I do that? Basically what's gonna happen is you're gonna crunch the hair together and then you're gonna create almost like a V shape in the haircut and you're gonna lose your guideline. And that's typically what happens or you're over directing the hair too far and then you end up growing extra length. Not growing it, but you know what I mean. Like you're, you're over directing the hair so you're creating length and then by the time you finish this haircut you've got one side that's completely longer than the other and that's typically what happens so you got to stay consistent watch how um, small these partings are that I'm taking as I pivot also notice how I'm following the head shape and I even shift my body position so that I get a more comfortable angle to make sure I stay with the head shape because as you curve down the head and as the head curves away uh, especially around that ear area um, you have to kind of twist your section to make sure it's following the head shape it starts to curve in a little bit and you want to make sure you're following it to get a true 90 degree haircut so also notice that um, I take my section and then I'm now pushing the hair into the guide. You always want to take the new hair that you're cutting and you want to push it to the guideline so that the guideline doesn't shift. Anytime you take a guide and you move it from where it lives, um, it's a brand new guide. It's going to completely change the haircut. So I want to make sure that every section that I take, I take that new hair and I bring it just slightly over to the guideline, um, not over directing it too far because again, you don't want to grow that or build that extra length into the cut. So you can see I really push that old hair away to make sure that I don't um, mess up anything. I don't get any of that old hair into the new uh, part of the hair. little bit and just working with the head shape and you can see how my finger angle just shifts a little bit when I get to the bottom there because that's how the head shape is uh, moving so now I'm working my way into the back so we did the entire front portion of the haircut so now I take right down in the center right behind right behind the ear and that's where I continue working around the back of the head now you'll also notice that from pretty much occipital bone down. I've sectioned that away and I'm keeping it sectioned away because that's a completely different area of the head. So I wanna make sure that I'm not stretching myself too much. I'm not trying to do too much at once. A lot of times with haircuts, people try to take too much hair, too many sec or too little sections, they're not staying organized and that's why they end up with the result they didn't want. With this, I don't wanna go into that occipital bone area as well because that's going around too many curves. So I'll do that at the very end of the cut. 
So I just work my way down to that occipital bone and I stop right there. The other thing I like to go over with these beauty school or cosmetology school haircuts, the reason I'm doing them is because I want to bring a little bit of light to the fact that these are not haircuts that you're going to do on everybody. Obviously, you're not going to go and do 90 degrees on the entire cut. The whole purpose of doing these haircuts is to work on uh, your technical ability, being able to work your way around the head, stay consistent. Um, there's always things. Every time I do this haircut, there's things that I learn from doing it. Um, that maybe I overdirected a little bit too far or changing my, my hands, uh, the way that I'm holding the hair, all of those things go into it. So it's a basic haircut, but it's a, it's hardest to do those basic haircuts, I believe. So just use this as a practice tool. This is seamless layering. So when you follow the head shape, you get no weight lines uh, whatsoever. So I just go through and I do this as practice to keep, um, my hands kind of moving and my brain working as I'm cutting. So now I'm just finishing up that bottom section, following the head shape still, 90 degrees, very simple uh, to finish it off. You can see even with this, I'm cutting in my, in my palm. So um, I changed up my hand position there as well to just make sure that I'm more comfortable. The more comfortable you are, the more consistent you'll be. Now I'm using the Paul Mitchell Neuro Lift. This is just to create a little bit of volume, nice medium hold in the haircut, and I'm gonna smooth the hair out uh, and polish it. And then I'm gonna go through and just cut that perimeter. So I like this product because it gives me a nice hold, but it's not too firm, and then I can go in, polish the hair, make it look really nice. So now I'm using the tip of my scissor. I'm just gonna quickly go around. This I probably spent about 15 minutes on. I'm not gonna throw a ton of that into the video, but just know that I did this exact technique all the way around the head and I did it for 15 minutes to make sure I got this, this end result that I was looking for. Again, this is not a haircut that you're gonna do on everybody. It's a technical um, practice technique but you can see it's a pretty cool result. Uh, I like it and I hope you liked it. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.